So Rafi and I, we know each other since we were like 11, 12 years old. And a few years later, we additionally got into the same music class where we got in touch with producing music for the first time. And so ever since we were 15, we collaborate with each other on a, on a regular basis. Numa started studying in Berlin. We still kept on collaborating, even with the distance. And over the last six years, we, we developed a really nice workflow together. So we know each other's strengths, but also weaknesses. And yeah, that makes us a really good team. Um, I came over to Berlin last year and we did some tracks here. But we did something different this time. So we took a synthesizer and a drum machine and we started with the track Traumfänger. It was just this track at the beginning, it was just an experiment and we figured we really liked it. So we kept going with this kind of idea of using more analog old gear. From this there was two, three tracks we started here in, in Berlin. After coming back, we went back to my home studio in Switzerland and there we did the whole acoustic part. Um, I played the piano, Numa played the drums. And this started this mixed electronic with acoustic elements. And that was the moment when the album was really, you know, it became unique, it became like, it, it got its vibe. I think we can even say this is the the main characteristic of our whole album, that we have this organic elements, you know, it's just making it so much better. So my job was to be the sound engineer of the project. Basically my job was to ensure that it's a nice, good listening experience in any kind of environment with any kind of headphones. I had worked with them uh, prior to this uh, album, so I knew them and um, they actually came here for a jam one time after Manuel, Manuelito moved to Berlin. They just presented to me the idea that day and I immediately said yes, because I knew that I would want to work with them. I mean, it's a friendship. It's not like a client uh, service provider relationship. And it's actually very important for me to work with people that I, that I like and that I have a good chemistry with and there's some kind of connection because you know, then we kind of know, even without words, we can communicate what it is that is needed or what it is that we want. Afen im Osten means translated to English, monkeys in the east, which is a, a really funny and random name. And it should be kind of a, an association to our trip here in Berlin. We were feeling like some sort of playful monkeys that just want to explore new things and use new equipment, as Rafi already said. As we were walking on the streets of East Berlin, we, we noticed this vibe. But what the people have made out of that today, from this misery and from these grey buildings, is pretty amazing. They, they put artwork on the walls of the buildings. So to see that is really inspiring when you, when you walk past that for the first time. One of the main inspirations behind this album was a soundtrack of Captain Future, which is one of my favorite childhood series. It's an animated sci-fi series from the 80s. And it's really special because the album is featuring new age synthesizers that were quite a new thing back in the 80s. And it's combined with organic recordings like drum sets and acoustic guitars, electronic guitars. And that whole combination of instruments is just shaping a beautiful product. And shout out to the album Send Return. It's made by And Me, not me, but And Me, <laughs> Adam Port and Rampa. We listened to that album the whole time. Everyone who listened to the album, they, they will feel it. There's, there's you know, high quality content and you, 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 you like notice it straight away. So. It's sometimes hard to find people who are willing to take the next step and to, you know, do what's necessary to make something happen. You know, I have people coming to my studio sometimes and then they ask me to play the kind of the album that I'm working on because I do it full time these days and every person that I play the music they said, even if they don't like the genre, they said it's high quality. Um, so yeah, 
they can they can deliver results in terms of you know quality of production and writing and recording but it's also like it's also like we talked about collaboration and they are really really easy to work with they are like yes they are chill they are relaxed but they know what they want and they know how to communicate it so i would definitely give my recommendation so at the beginning we had these 15 projects in front of us and almost none of them had a name so we thought why not using German names. We never named our tracks after a German word and we also both agreed that German language, no offense, can sound a bit rude at some point. And so we were really aiming for choosing terminologies or words that have a certain aesthetic to them like Blütenstaub, Traumfänger, Morgenstund, they just sound so nice. We want to dedicate this album mainly to our inspiring grandparents that may rest in peace forever, but at the same time, it's also for our loved ones that supported us during all that process. And at the end of the day, it's for you people to enjoy.